What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. Today is the most important video out of this whole entire budget beast. We're talking about the PC games. Now keep in mind with the PC games on this build, uh, on this uh, six tire by drive, we have about 130 uh, PC games. So the big thing to understand about PC games is that I personally suggest that you do launch them um, from the PC games folder which we will boot up. You could launch them in Hyperspin, um, but there is you know, a couple of games that will kind of give you a little bit of an, there are a couple of games that will give you a little bit of an AHK kind of warning. Um, just before anything, let's start with this. Um, out of about the 130 games, I would say about 80 will actually use the arcade sticks as their controller. Uh, using a program called X360CE, um, it is actually able to mimic and think that the arcade sticks are actual controllers. So really, in all honesty, most, if not all, fighting games, I highly suggest using the uh, arcade sticks as they are mapped out to use and to mimic an Xbox controller. So real quick, as you can see, we always have the logos. The logos are there. I have no videos, no artwork besides the logo. Um, but real quick on this one, I'm going to load up the most common one and a couple of ones that, you know, I really want to show off. The most common one, honestly, the first one is obviously Street Fighter V. Uh, we're going to look at a lot of the fighting games. Um, again, 130 PC games alone. Let's load up the first one, which, I mean, we've done it in past videos, but it's always amazing to see, which is Street Fighter V. Again, one button and one button only. It's going to launch the executable file. And hopefully while we do record this, maybe we will get the AHK warning. So keep in mind right now, the program is being loaded in the background. So sometimes, um, you know, if the, load, if the program doesn't load in time, you will get the AHK warning. So this one right here, we're good to go. Um, I'm gonna raise up the volume, but you didn't hear it, but there's a little like Windows bling that you do here that basically says, hey, the um, X360 CE program launched. So again, I don't really want to bore you guys with this, but again, the biggest thing, this does mimic an actual Xbox controller here. So if you do look at an actual Xbox controller, A, B, X, Y, and then it's either L1 or L2, and then R1 or R2. I forgot which one I did it, but basically we're pressing the A button. We're gonna do versus, proceed to a match, and proceed to a match. Again, it thinks that there are actually two Xbox controllers. Now you could use the Xbox controllers obviously too. So in case you didn't want to use the arcade sticks, you can definitely use the actual Xbox controllers. So right now, going back to what I was talking about with Hyperspin, as you can see right now, it's beautiful. Hyperspin didn't give us the AHK warning. So we're good to go. This is normal playing. Some games and I'm gonna load up the most common one, which is Tekken 7, and I'll explain it better when it happens of why it does it. But with that AHK warning, you could still technically play the game. It's just you do have to now break out the keyboard to do one thing. But real quick, just admire this. Again. So as you can see, I'm always on a crooked. There's our Hadoukens. Now on some of the games, the start button is actually the start button. If not, then it is um, the load button at the face of the, the plate here. So keep in mind again, and as you can see actually on the other games, you just saw it. This is actually either R1 or R2. I can press start, but watch Ryu. He actually kicks. So this right now is doing two buttons really, the start and that. So it's really on Street Fighter V that you do kind of see this little hiccup. Again, as you can see, we're playing, we're having some fun, we're doing awesome stuff. Now, again, it is a PC game, so you have to do treat it like a PC game. You will have to actually exit out. If you do want to exit out of the game, you're gonna to have to actually exit out of the actual game. Okay, let's load up. Uh, you know, I wanna do something uncommon. Uh, let's load up, we're gonna load up Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And again, most of the fighting Loading games. Complete. Let's see if you hear the bling. So as you can see, we are also trying to activate the AHK. So let's see what it does. This right now, as you can see right now, the screen is just at a standstill. Let's see what happens. Oh, 
and again that's the big thing about you know PC games we're launching it to something that's a good sign okay this one here we're not in full screen oh there's our AHK got it so there's one thing that you can see right there so when this AHK does happen it brings hyperspin back to the front oh actually for this specific game it didn't do that so let's actually oh there you go okay see that Marvel vs. Capcom is brought back to the front. The game is still activated. So basically now I have to press the Windows key. And then at the bottom of the screen here is my Marvel vs. Capcom. So, I mean, again, you know, it is a little bit of an annoying thing, but that's all you have to do. Anytime you get that AHK thing, that happens. So you can kind of see, I didn't, I'm not going to really try to cut this one, but you saw system loaded screen kind of slowed down a little bit and then we were waiting for something to happen so it didn't happen in time basically so let's see if we could do some player two action on this now also on this um i know for a fact now um this here if i do hit the windows key the wrong button if i do it the windows key joy to key is actually loaded in the background um so that does kind of interfere a little bit and i could already tell you right now it is actually interfering with this um as you can see right now it's getting confused it thinks that there's a an actual joystick and then there's a keyboard that is because see here i have my a this is actually my enter button so again this is one of those things that right now you could kind of see that hyperspin is in the way while this game is playing i mean it happens that's something that kind of stinks uh if you did run um instead of hard uh hard hard drives you run ssds you wouldn't really run into this kind of thing but right now for a fact i know player one and player two are gonna have hiccups because joy to key is still active in the background in reality when a game is loaded correctly joy to key exits so let's see what happens with this. Let's see. I mean, this one, we're okay. I do have my pause in the front, so it is recognized. I oh, actually know that's my escape key. See, again, it thinks that, oh, there it is, look. So this is right now living proof that with joy to key on, it's being confused. I'm real quick. I will press the windows key and I'm gonna actually close out the joy to key program if I can just to show you guys what I'm talking about we have a lot of stuff going on so let us now actually exit out of joy to key yes joy to key is exited and now you will see that this game will work correctly see that so now my my pause button is here and now we're good to go see that so again this is one thing that I mean, it happens. I did adjust all the AHK files on everything, but this is literally one game that you see right now. So now the other headache that we have that we exited Joy to Key. When we exited Joy to Key, now you're gonna see hyperspin. Our menu isn't gonna work. You're gonna see right now, see? Menu doesn't work because menu is relying on Joy to Key to work. So right now we are at a standstill. So keep that in mind that's why usually i do say pc games i mean it happens on a couple of them i'm going to reload hyperspin just to bring us back to load up more games but it does happen so keep that in mind again it doesn't happen to all the games it will happen to you know a couple of them i know for a fact tekken 7 it's going to happen and i'm going to show you exactly what i mean by what is really happening in the background um but again it's just sometimes some of these games they do need time to load uh i'm going to show you one that's a perfect example we're going to load up tekken 7. Okay, i'm going to hold down and we're going to now go down to tekken and this is exactly what i mean i'm going to do tekken 7. one button and one button only watch this loading complete loading complete screen goes down and you're going to see like this tekken 7 that see this this is like the game is still loading in the background street fighter 5 has this Marvel vs. Capcom has this many games have this as like a start so right now tekken 7 it it does take you know maybe a minute or two to boot up 
So right now, Hyperspin is waiting for the screen to be taken over. And after, you know, maybe 30 seconds, if it doesn't get taken over, you do get the AHK warning. There you go. So you will get this. I know for a fact, Tekken 7, unless I put, if I'm, unless you get an SSD card, like an actual solid state drive, it won't work. So now you can see the game loaded. But in all honesty, Hyperspin now, see, it's confused now. With that now, our Joy to Key is still activated. So that means Tekken 7 is going to be a nightmare to play. We're just going to exit uh, Joy to Key just to show you that. And now we're going to repress into Tekken 7. Again, it happens. I know it happens and there's not really a work around it. Unless you actually do not do a PC games window, which I'll explain in another video. Um, but this is just to make it organized. So as you can see right now, we do have... As you can see, I'm using my X button, so we could do um, versus battle. Again, Tekken 7, uh, very high graphic settings on this. And two player mode. So, so this is asking me to press the menu key. And there you go, see that? We got it here, let's do some Akuma. I mean, again, really awesome. It's a great game, it's just again, there is another way to set up hyperspin, which is to boot the game like on the actual main menu. But imagine your main menu wheel having like 300 icons. It's just too much. I used to have my wheel set up like that and it was just a nightmare to navigate. So yes, the games are nice and neat in PC game mode and the PC game list, but you do get a little bit of that, you know, tiny hiccup. But check out the graphics on this. I mean, beautiful stuff, Tekken 7. Again, we do have our left and our rights working. I never got into Tekken, so. So this here is like, I'm able to see a couple of things. So again, as you can see right now, because my player is just like not moving. So now we're getting hits. There it goes. I mean, again, there you have it. Again, we have our pause here and we're gonna return to the menu. But again, when we do return to the menu um, and we exit the game, Hyperspin is not gonna work correctly because again, Joy to Key is exited. So from here, you are stuck. You just have to escape out and escape out. So with that in mind, we do have the folder here on the, uh, on the desktop. There are basically, um, three different areas that there are PC games. So we have PC games in the C drive. We have PC games on the external drive. And we have PC games on like, an, on this is extra games I installed on this. So for example, I wanted to show you um, 2K. NBA 2K is awesome on this. So I go here, I find my NBA 2K and there is an application. Okay, is really cool on this and it does work with the arcade sticks. There's our bling, our Xbox 360 CE bling that we want to hear. Anytime you hear that, the system now takes over and the joysticks will work. It's just to me a lot easier. See, there we go. This is awesome. I mean, again, this, in all honesty, this game does need extra buttons. It actually needs like the 10 buttons uh, to play but it's really pretty cool. Let's try to get into a two-player game on this. Um, I'm gonna do computer here and local here. I believe that will be good. So as you can see, we have player two here. We'll make sure we're on opposite teams on this. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. Camera movements. So we're here. Let's see. I guess we'll do some Michael Jordan, why not? Let's load up, um, the, I'm not sure if, the, if LeBron is on the Cavs on this one? No. Could do Golden State, Steph Curry, why not? Again, literally this game right here is, is awesome. Uh, I'm just trying to find LeBron. There's LeBron. Random player is X. There we go. 
this is amazing. Like, this is the best part of it. I mean, again, this is NBA Jam. Welcome to 2019 NBA Jam on this. Really cool stuff. And again, arcade sticks. We have this press start in the front. The only thing that's difficult about these is that you have to learn your buttons. So here we go. So I don't really even know the controls to be honest on this. I should have looked at the menu. Let's see what we could do. Nope, pressed the wrong button. That's the shoot button. So I really should not push that. Let's see how we could run. Oh, that was just bad. <laughs> this is not that good of a of a display of um, 2K, but you guys kind of get the idea on this. Let's try to figure out this game. Oh, MJ with the brick. That's in. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to find out how to dunk. I'm trying to figure out how to dunk and how to jump, how to how to run. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, so my star button is seems to be running. We're in this. There you go. That's how you do it right now. Got it. Now, once we figure it out. Oh. All right. All right. As you can see now, now that we know how the controls work, now we know what to do. Go up for it, MJ. Oh, come on, Mike. Brick. There you go. I mean, again, you guys kind of get the idea. I'm not that good at the game, but again, this is just an amazing thing to see. 2K Playgrounds arcade sticks working. So now real quick, we're going to load a PC game using the Xbox controllers. So basically right now we do have the Xbox controllers on. And as you can see, we are able to play Cuphead with the Xbox controllers. Pretty easy stuff again the xbox one controllers do work so again we loaded up cuphead outside of hyperspin just to make it fast and easy cuphead can be set up to um actually play uh on the arcade sticks if you wanted to but there you go i died <laughs> i'm gonna quit the game and then again it is, a, it is a pc game so you will have to just exit out of the game Last thing I want to mention about this build is that we do have Fortnite and Apex Legends running on this. For you to play these two types of games, you do have to launch it from the desktop. There is a Wi-Fi dongle included. It's in the back of the, of the computer. So they will work with the Xbox One controllers. I'm unfortunately running out of camera battery, so we're just going to cut it real quick to me actually playing it. One thing to keep in mind is that, again, like games like this, you do need like Origin or you do need Epic Games Launcher. So you do have to go through the whole login and all that, which is why I don't have it on the Hyperspin wheel. We have it externally. Okay guys, so I couldn't get Apex Legends to load for some reason. So I'm just gonna load a Fortnite. I couldn't um, remember my password in Apex Legends. So we're gonna load a Fortnite. Again, that is on the desktop, um, Wi-Fi um, activated. And we're using the Xbox One controller on this. You could use the keyboard and mouse if you want. I'm just going to go with the Xbox One controller. And as you can see, it does work pretty nicely. And I think it's also at very high settings. I don't really play this game too much, so don't expect any amazingness out of this. So we're going to play. We're not going to play it too much, but at least you can kind of see how it is. I'm really not that good at this game. But just take a look at the graphics. Again, we are on Wi-Fi. Epic settings. Again, I'm not that good at this game, so...
and there you go. <laughs> so for now, we are definitely going to exit this, because I am pure trash. So now keep in mind there are some PC games that really don't use any controls, they use the keyboard and the mouse. Uh, there are a couple of simulator games. Um, what do I mean by that? The most popular one is Planet Coaster. Just like old school Roller Coaster Tycoon, which we do have on here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So we do have Planet Coaster. And we also do have our Roller Coaster Tycoon. I mean, I grew up on these, so these all do play for right now. Just to show you guys the... No, you know what? We'll boot up a classic. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. And again, this does need a mouse and a keyboard. This is just a very classic game. I mean, as you can see... I'm using the mouse. We'll be able to draw stuff, build some roller coasters, and boom. There you go. I mean, again, classic stuff. So, again, this will play your old school stuff. Quit the game. It's going to bring us back into hyperspin. And the most newest one now is Planet Coaster. I do have the Xbox One controller and I was using the, the joystick so as you can see we kind of confused the system a little bit. Loading complete. This right now, let's see if it's gonna load. This is like a 2019 version of Roller Coaster Tycoon. You might get an AHK file interruption on this one, let's see. Again, I'm gonna let it do its thing. It did load, and we did not get an AHK file interruption. So we're good to go. Again, I'm not just focusing on fighting games, but we try to hit every type of game from simulators to fighting to driving. I mean, in all honesty, yeah, there we go. See, we do have a lot of action going on. I'm using the scroll. I mean, we could take a look at the graphics on this. Let's see if there's any settings. Let's see. Graphics. We're set to high. We could do ultra maybe, but these are set to high. Uh, preset. Apply. And press OK. I mean, now we are running ultra graphics. I really don't know how to ride the ride on this. Can we ride the ride? Triggers. Here we go. And again, Planet Coaster, Ultra Settings. <laughs> it's pretty cool to see. I mean, again, some of the stuff on this is pretty crazy stuff. There you have it, Planet Coaster. Again, once we're done, options, we exit out, we could quit Planet Coaster altogether, and it'll bring us back into hyperspin. This here, let's see. Um, let's load up one last fighting game, which is pretty cool. And that is, see, you do have like uh, World War Zero that you will need the Xbox controllers for. Bro Force, awesome game, works with the arcade sticks, uh, Dead Risings. DuckTales, um, what did I want to see? Injustice, that's what I wanted to do for you guys. Injustice 1 and Injustice 2. See, I do have my Xbox controller, so I am confusing the system. Loading complete. But with this, basically, I'm going to be able to use the arcade sticks for Injustice 2. So again, just keep in mind, anytime you get an AHK error, you just gotta hit the Windows key and then just go back. But, I mean, in all honesty, Hyperspin is set to exit uh, Joy to Key when you do launch a PC game. Again, it's just waiting for the screen to be taken over. After a couple of minutes, after every really couple of, th there you go. There's a, see, every game has this kind of like pop-up thing. 
Hyperspin was waiting for this to boot up. And now I can already tell you that we are going to have issues with Joy to Key running in the background and this. So what I'm going to do right now, as you can see right now, see Hyperspin is loaded and in the background. So I'm moving and navigating while we wait for this game to load. So, I mean, again, it is sometimes a downside, but, you know, it does happen. In all honesty, you could wait for the game to load and then you just exit out of Joy to Key. So now again, the screen was taken over, but Joy to Key is still activated. So we will definitely want to exit that. While that loads, I'm trying to load up the Windows key. Let's let the game fully load. I'll probably go fast forward on this. Yes. So now let's see. Maybe. I mean, you saw before in the other games, I mean, the system was confused. So for right now, let's just see if we could get into it. See, for now. Player two. So it actually looks like this isn't too bad. Let's see if this is going to work. So we are, we might actually be okay with Joy to keep running in the background. Or just the one woman. Again, Injustice 2 arcade sticks working on this, even with our little AHK hiccup. Kind of saw it there. It's getting confused, but let's see. Oh, it's loading here. That's what it is. See, when I press a button, see, it's going from like keyboard to that. That's really because of Joy to Key. I'll be honest, it's definitely because of Joy to Key. Me now clicking the mouse, bringing it back, saying it's just, it might be a little confusing. The only way to see is if I do, um, let's see what happens. So if I do this, no, we're good to go. Okay, no, it's actually reading the arcade sticks. The joy to key is not in the way of this. But just real quick to admire some Injustice 2 on this. Never really played this, so there we go. Is there a way to see the move list? Uh, let's see. Shield toss. So we did get lucky on this type of game. It is ignoring um, Joy to Key on this. So, as you can see, Injustice 2 Ultra settings on this one. So, now, real quick, if you notice, I am controlling this, but I also have my Xbox controller activated, so I am actually able to play with the sticks on this. So keep that in mind, you do see it right there. We do have player one and Xbox controller, so I mean, a lot of stuff is going on in this kind of thing. Most of the games do work like that. Can I activate a special right now? How do I do it? <laughs> oh, I just won. <laughs> but yep, keep in mind that's how it is. Again, this is a PC game, so for you to exit, you will want to exit out altogether and exit. Boom. I mean, that's really it, guys. Again, so many games to choose from. 126 PC games alone. I think I'm at like 132. I don't even know, but. A lot of cool stuff. Let's load up like World War Z. I mean, again, there's just so many games. It gets ridiculous. But at least we did notice a couple AHKs. See, this right here is not going to load up an AHK warning. This will not give us a Windows bleep because we don't have uh, X360 CE working on this. Only because this type of game, you need analog sticks and all that to work. 
again with this amazing graphics card we do have games set to ultra and high and i mean it's just an amazing amazing beast so this really in all honesty is an online co-op obviously you can't play online some people assume you could play online with these things you cannot uh in all honesty these you can't play online with these so you would be able to do two player on this i'm not sure i mean let's see if we get second player working i did start the game before the um xbox controller was on so let's see what happens it's going to try to connect online i'm not too sure if actually another game i haven't played So let's see, can we get our second player in here? No, I cannot. But just real quick, just to see how this game is. Let's shoot some zombies real quick. Again, ultra settings on this. Xbox controller is vibrating. Just body parts flying everywhere. Don't stop until you get to the elevator. Oh, she scared me. <laughs> but there you have it. I'm just trying to see if I can get a two player on this. For right now, let's exit out. And again, as you can see, I mean, I always try to update my drives. Real quick, I'm gonna show off um, some Killer Instinct using arcade sticks. Again, ultra high intense graphic games on this. So here's another one just to show off real quick. Um, Need for Speed, uh, Payback. Again, a little bit of everything on this. Racing games, you got a couple of shooting games, mostly fighting games. So just keep in mind that when I did make this, I did want to have you know, every gamer be able to get a little bit of something on it. So just gonna load up real quick Need for Speed. Uh, again, it's either high or ultra settings whatever they call it, just to show the gameplay on this. Again, using Xbox controller. I'll be waiting for you guys in the garage. I thought this was supposed to be a friendly raid. This is us being friendly. Last one washes wrapped cars. This is- I'm gonna get real quick just to see if I could load up graphic settings. Graphic quality, let's put it on ultra. Let's see how it plays out. It was set to auto. Oh. That doesn't look good at all. <laughs> set it to 1080p. Maybe that's gonna fix it. Again, setting it to ultra settings. Again, using Xbox controller to play this. I'm not doing a good job sitting on the road. I mean, it looks great. Again, high settings, need for speed on this. Again, because of the GTX 1050 Ti in this, we are able to enjoy this.
Looks good. So let's quit the game. Bring it back into hyperspin. Real quick, we'll load up the King of Fighters. They got player one. Again, using arcade sticks to work. I believe I also have this set to high graphics. All these games, honestly, are set to high ultra graphics. We're going to end with most likely running Mortal Kombat. I mean, there you go. Let's load up Mortal Kombat. So I am outside of Hyperspin. Again, I usually suggest that. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Where do I have that? JK Elemental P. That's under the external. It's on the outside. Mortal Kombat XL. You go into binaries, retail and Mortal Kombat 10. Again, you'll hear the Windows key. You'll hear the Windows kind of making a noise. Again, this is another game, like you see, I'm launching the application, system still going, and there you have it. Again, this is the thing that gives us this AHK warning. It happens, I mean, I do redo the AHKs with this, but you know, sometimes it does happen. Just keep in mind, again, I usually suggest that you do launch a PC game out of it. The only real way to avoid this again is to use SSDs. This way the game boots up in a matter of seconds. And as you can see right now, I mean we are still loading up the game. This does have all the DLC on it. Again this is XL. Uh, I am waiting for the newest one, um, but they haven't cracked it yet. There's the Windows Bing. And now our game is loading. I mean, again, if anything, I'll probably, you know, fast forward it just so you could see it. But um, again, there are games, it's most like three or four of them, honestly, that does, that does that. All the other games out of the 130, they will boot like easily and directly with no issues. Again, I've spoken to some people and some pros of Hyperspin. Um, you know, I know Hyperspin, but I ain't no pro, really. I've done it for six years, though, so I know my ways. But, again, the only way, real way to avoid that is to really use an SSD. So, again, it thinks that we are running Xbox controllers. We'll do player versus player. Again, this I know for a fact. I do have this set to high. So, let's do some Johnny Cage. And... Again, I didn't do a screen grab. I figured this is the better way. Screen grab, you would have definitely seen like, you know, the resolution output on instead of me recording a screen. But I mean, this works. At least you guys could get a, a couple of hints out of it. A lot of people messaging me, hey Vic, how much is this? We will be doing a video on it and we'll explain everything. Don't you owe me some sunglasses? Here is what you are owed. Again, high settings. So as you can see, we do have buttons here. This is really L2 and R2. So we're changing the stance on this, as you can see. I've never really played Mortal Kombat, so I don't really know the button configuration. There you go. I 
really don't know how to activate anything. Again, just button mashing at its finest. <laughs> there you go. Again, we have our pause set to the to the cover plate here. We will exit out. The one last thing I do want to show you real quick is again, it's really cool to have the arcade sticks, but sometimes people do want to use the Xbox controller. I'm gonna actually restart the video. So I mean, again, in all honesty, you know, PC games are really meant to work with actual Xbox controllers, but we are running a program called X360CE. So if you did right now with this program, it will always go to the joysticks as your as your controllers. If by any chance you did want to use the Xbox controllers on a game that is launching with the joysticks, um, there is one thing that you have to do, which I really don't want you doing, but you could always edit it if anything. There's a program here again called X360CE. If you do delete this, deleting it is okay because it goes into the um, recycling bin. So if you do delete this, and what we're gonna do on this one now is that we are gonna launch, turn on, I should say, our Xbox controllers. We're gonna relaunch Mortal Kombat and now basically the controllers will work with the game. If we left the program on it, let's see. No, I'm not able to launch. See, so as you can see right now, X360 is still in the background. We can't run it. So we have to actually exit out. It's still activated as you can see. Let me just see one thing because a couple of these games do have um, another, uh, oh, see the X input is here. Um, so if I do, I could do undo delete and it will bring back our X360. Um, there's a lot of stuff, honestly, you would have to take out is this X input. On other games, it's just removing this program, but on this, it looks like it's reading that. Let's try to relaunch again. Again, I heard the windows bleep, that one we didn't. Yeah, see that? Now that we removed the X input, our controllers here work. See that? And again, we are now able to enjoy two player. Katana, Sub -Zero. I mean, again, it is something that kind of stinks, but I mean, again, you are trying, you know, we're trying to make miracles happen. So it is something like that. Right now, basically we have to right click and then we have to just undo our delete and we bought back the X inputs. So, I mean, this really is telling the game what controller to use and what button is to what. So that is the one little thing, the one little downside. If you did want to go and use the Xbox One controllers, you would have to remove the X360 um, app. In all honesty though, fighting games, most people want to use the joysticks. That is it guys, PC gaming, X, uh, that's it guys, PC Gaming, VicVP, Game Case Arcades, The Budget Beast, officially done. Morris is picking this thing up tomorrow.